All right, this is listenyourway.com, and we're coming here tonight from West Forsyth Field. Uh, we're here doing the marathon postgame show. We're here with Coach Helper after a tough loss. Uh, final 16, though. Yeah, you know, a lot to be proud of. Kids played a heck of a season. Uh, stood toe to toe with one of the state powerhouses uh, since what they, I heard the announcement before '95. I got a little scared. They've uh, played in the state championship six times, I think, since '95. Four and two, not too bad. And uh, Coach Flo and his staff do a good job. But uh, we're we're building. That's what we want to be someday. We want to be the guys that they talk about. And those those uh, you know putting our our name just with them right now is is a pretty good accomplishment. But uh, came up short, and uh, you know that happens. That's that's football. Yeah. Well, it was kind of an up and down game. A couple of times it looked like they were going to blow you away and then you took control in the second quarter there then they came out the end of the second quarter with that I don't know where it was a box formation or some kind of a thing where they had two blocking backs yeah. and they just rammed it and then they kind of went away with it but but the, the, they were tough to stop they had a lot of different formations looked to me like they did they did a nice job uh, you know they went up 7 nothing. I thought uh oh man we might be in for a long night then boom we, we stormed back and went up 17 to 7 and felt pretty good about it and then uh, blocked uh, blocked the extra point you know 17 13 still felt good about it and uh, you know but that's that's what allowed us to be in the game because if not you know they they do get the one point victory so those points are all important we talk about that I was really proud of our kids for you know they, they played till that last whistle they played until that last play so and that's what it's about here at West we you know we end up playing a lot of kids we end up having a good time and you know at the end of the night we I tell the kids now if you've given everything you've got and you have no regrets it doesn't matter what that scoreboard says and uh, I think that's been part of our success because we're not all about the scoreboard we're about doing things right playing hard you know having a good time with it and you know uh come come you know again do the right things good things are going to happen to you i know you're proud of a lot of your seniors are going on to other things and of course you got a good underclassman coming back Let's tell us a little bit about those guys well, the seniors with A.J. Early going off to Middle Tennessee State and Ty Anderson going over to Jacksonville State and Mohammed going to South Carolina. Uh, Jake wyzork has got some really good academic schools talking to him right now. And we've got a bunch of other kids like Will Bass and uh, Josh Salo and Connor Vandenboss, uh, uh, Hunter B Blue. You know, we've got a, got a good slew of kids leaving. So that's going to be tough to replace. But now on the other side, you've got Andrew Marshall coming back. would probably be one of the top 150 in the country at center. Uh, Josh Davis at defensive end. Brett Anderson at, at defensive tackle. Uh, you've got John Salo, Jace Ratliff. We've got some really good linemen, and we've got some real good skill kids in that 10th grade level. Jacob Allen that not many people know about. Uh, Gabe Pierce, 35, who came in and made some big plays tonight. Hampton McConnell, who's started this year at receiver and played some quarterback. So uh, we, we're going to be okay. I think, uh, you know, if our kids continue to work hard in the weight room and we get them, uh, you know, we keep our grades as high as possible so that everybody's back here ready to go and eligible, I think we're going to be okay. Well, uh, again, it was a great season and we're proud of you and I know you're proud of your team and your fans here they came out and support tonight and that just I mean, like I say you were beaten by a team that really played good I mean you, you gave them all they could go yeah that's football and that's uh, that's what you do you line up you play and give them everything you got and like I said the scoreboard take care of itself tonight we came up short but this community has been great uh, I've gotten emails and notes from a lot of people in this community I don't even know but saying hey coach congratulations we love what you're doing we come over and watch your games and we don't even have kids in the program but we come over and watch the games because they're exciting and you you know, play a good brand of football. So very proud of these guys for doing that and very proud of the community and the parents. Our parents are so behind us. It's it's great. And But, uh, you know, it starts all again, Johnny. We, we, we get back together here uh, in December before the holidays and put our plans together and come back in January and get in that weight room and get after it. All right. Well, again, <laughs> congratulations on a great season. It's been yeah. a pleasure covering you. We'll let you go. I know you got stuff to yeah, do. I want to go see those guys Thank upstairs. you. Good Thanks, job. guys. Good job. Thank you very much.